Happy full moon in Virgo, everybody. I just wanted to quickly pop on here and just say to you that we are having a very important moon at this time. And um, we are finishing a lot of cycles at this time. We're sort of in between worlds. We're, we're also ending something in our Virgo house at this time. So you want to maybe look at that area of your life and see what routines or practical um, things can you change in that area of your life that needs to end at this time. Um, maybe there are issues in that house that are affecting you on an emotional, mental health level in your Pisces house. And how are things in your Pisces house affecting you in your Virgo house? And how is your mental and emotional state affecting your everyday routines and your physical health and so forth? So you want to look at the balance of these two signs. So we're also being asked right now to really just sit in this wounding that we are experiencing. We have a lot of decisions to make. There's a lot of changes happening right now. We're moving into these changes with the new moon in Aries. Right now, we're just to sit while these opening doorways are opening up. Let whatever needs to go, go. Don't fight it. Don't chase anything. Don't just sit with it, you know. Sometimes a wound needs to just rest before, uh, otherwise you could over clean it. You could make it roll. So you want to just sort of let it sit for a bit. You want to focus and see um, what subconscious controlling patterns um, could be um, self-sabotaging you in some way. Where is it in your life that you're getting a little bit of a reality check in your Pisces house? Where have you been unrealistic? Um, fact or fiction? Is it an illusion? Is it a fantasy? What do you need to change on a practical level? What can you change on an, what can you control and do on an everyday level to get closer realistically to what it is that your heart truly desires? It's a good time right now to pray, meditate and forgive and release everyone that you have ever had any contact with that's harmed you in any way and to just be more compassionate and kind to everyone around you and to stay in gratitude. It's okay to not want to speak right now. If you're being ghosted, this is why. So just sit with things right now. It will open up eventually. There are pleasant surprises on the way as well. And I can already see Saturn in Pisces happening with um, Alberta Healthcare. We might be paying for our health care soon here in Canada. And